Hey there, welcome to Rose. In this video, we'll be looking at how you could import and export data from a Google Sheet spreadsheet to Rose. Let's dive right in. First, we'll cover how you can import data from your existing sheets to Rose. For that, I have a dummy data set on my Google Sheet on the right. So you'll see that this table has roughly about 100 columns here, which has customer data and about 100 rows as well. There's another sheet here with employee data, also with about 100 columns and about 100 rows. Now I'm going to import the customer data inside rows. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and let's say expand this a little bit. Click on our data actions panel here, search for sheets. Click on the Google Sheets icon there. Now there are two ways in which you can have the URL placed here. One is you can just copy the URL from your Google Sheets browser and just paste that in here. Or you can even use our Google Drive picker like so. Just authorize this, give it a quick second from the pop-up here. Just double click the spreadsheet that you want to import. And this automatically brings in the range dropdown as well from here. You can just click on the drop down and we have already pre filled with the existing sheets on your Google Sheet, like here, for example, and also provided you with a, a reference sample range, which is A colon Z. So let's say that's all the data that we need. I'm just going to go ahead and click that. You can set the header type as well in case that's something needed. But once you're happy with this configuration, just click on create data table, like so. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this panel here. Also delete this extra table. We don't need that. Now you'd notice that the data has only been imported from A to Z. That's the last column here. However, on your Google Sheet spreadsheet, you may have data from beyond column Z as well. So in this case, let's say it's still column CW. In order to import data from all those other columns, here's how we can do it. So I'm just going to go back to our data actions panel here, click the edit icon, select the source. And you'd notice that the source that's been selected here is A colon Z. In order to import data from from all the other columns. I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down, use formula or reference. Now, the way to add this reference is exactly similar to how you would do that on a Google Sheet as well. So, as an example, I'm going to create a blank sheet here, type equals, go back to the customer data here, and let's say I select these two columns, which is columns A and B. You'll notice that the reference here starts with a single code if there's a space in the name of the sheet, followed by an exclamation, and then the ranges. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here, hit escape, go back to the sheet. And here in the range reference, start with adding double quotes because this is the text input and then just paste that reference we copied. So now you'll see that we don't have to type in anything here. It automatically has the information. Instead of just till column B, we will change that to CW. So I'm going to make this CW and then save changes. Give it a quick second and you should see all the other columns being imported in your row spreadsheet as well. So here you have all the columns that's available on your Google Sheets inside your row spreadsheet as well. Next, let's see how we can export some data from your row spreadsheet to a sheet in Google Sheet. For that, I already have some dummy data here from our Google Analytics 4 account. Like so. And on Google Sheets, we already have this blank sheet available as well. Now, the first thing we'll need to do is add an empty table on this particular page. For that, I'm going to go ahead and just add here table. I want to move this table above the Google Analytics for so it's easier to understand what's happening. So this is the blank table that we have. Now on this table, I'm going to once again click on our data actions panel here, type sheets navigate to send data to Google Sheets. Now here, the data is the source. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and select this entire table here, like so. The destination in this case would be the sheet four. You can rename this to anything that you need. So in this case, let's say I do analytics data as an example. I'm going to go ahead and copy this as well, hit enter. On the destination, I'm going to go ahead and paste that, put an exclamation and use the same range that I see with my source, which is A colon I. As for the URL, once again, you can click the drive picker here, just authorize the required access, double click on the demo sheet. And once you're good with the configuration, just hit execute function. Give it a couple of seconds and there you go. You should see a data cell as the output on table one and on the Google sheet, you should see the data populated like so. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.